Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. I am your Saggy sister. It is in my rising. I do have your energy. So welcome here. If you are a new Sag or you're watching, cross-watching for a Sag, please let me know in the comments. I love to be in the comments. Would love to see who you are, even if it's not your real name. And if you're not interested in leaving a comment, maybe just a thumbs up would do for you because I just need your energy. So we can exchange energies and have these readings be a little more detailed. And um, yeah, when I get your energy, it's who I'm reading for that I see, right? And I feel. All right. Here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for your week ahead. Sagis. It's coming up for you in the week ahead, Sag. Hmm. A Taurus. Possibly a Taurus, but also commitment. Commitment, traditional commitment, traditional learning, traditional spiritualism, traditional religion. What else we got here? The teacher as well, spiritual teacher, psychologist, psychiatrist. Are you arguing with a Taurus? Just listening. Wheel of Fortune. It's divine timing for something. It's divine timing for you and the Taurus. It's divine timing for you to move forward in fortunate things. Tell me more about this. Some of you are moving into a committed relationship. Just want to get that card flipped over. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Um, some of you might be moving into a relationship, into a committed relationship, a marriage possibly. Um, maybe you have uh, indecision about whether you want to get into, seriously into a relationship. Because once you get into a relationship with someone who's in a, in a fixed energy, it's not easy to get out. I'm just saying, so Scorpio, Taurus, um, Aquarius, and uh, a Leo, I feel like you are, are maybe rolling forward into a relationship with one of those energies. Um, I feel like you're sort of in two minds about it, though that you haven't quite decided, you're arguing with yourself about whether you want this committed relationship or not. I think that um, there is communication difficulties here. For those of you who are in a relationship, I feel like there's a communication difficulty here. And um, it could be that you know, it, what it feels like to me is that somebody here is like, do we have to put a label on it? Do we have to tell people we're dating? Do we have to call each other girlfriend and boyfriend? Can we just be? Can we just be two people in a relationship who love each other? I feel like one of you is very traditional. I need marriage. I want you to sign on the dotted line. I need a ring on it. And the other person is like, really? Because we're together here and we're always here together and neither one of us is with another person. Do we really have to put a label on it? Because I feel like somebody here is kind of Pushing for a ring, pushing for monogamy, pushing for, um, um, you know, traditional roles. And the other person is like, I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. Yeah, it's like a, it's a difference of opinion, but we've got a couple of right fighters. Sag, you're a right fighter, Sag, 100, and so is Taurus. I feel like there's right fighting going on here and it's causing defensive energy. And so either you're going to move forward without this person or you're going to move forward with them, but it's going to be their decision because you've already made your decision and you're not going back on that. Hmm. Nine of Swords. It's worrying you. Yeah, it comes back to arguments. 14 and 1 and 4 is 5. Yeah, it comes back to arguments and tense times. And and it's, um, you know, I, I'm annoyed that you're not texting me when you want when I want you to. And, you know, could you just contact me a little more? I feel like you're, 
you're obsessively thinking about um, moving forward. Do I really want this? Is this something that I want to go through over and over again? The arguments, the indecision. We've got five and five, which means there's quick change here. So that means things are going to change quickly. There is going to be a decision made because this wheel of fortune cannot be stopped. It's divine timing. Right? It's divine timing for you to make a decision that regards in regards to a Taurus or in regards to a relationship that is traditional that you're not sure you want to be in. Tell me why we have the Nine of Swords here for um, Sagittarius, please. Somebody here is not emotionally available. Okay. So it feels like hesitation. It feels like I'm worried that if I get into this relationship, if I do decide to commit to this person, they're not emotionally available. They're not emotionally intelligent. This person throws little fits, little tiffs. This person throws little tantrums. And I feel like it, it is a one of the tantrums that actually causes the tower to fall. Let's figure out what's going on there. There you are, stuck in your head. Trying to make a decision, not really knowing whether you should or whether you shouldn't move forward with this person. Um, I feel like there's an emotional outburst of some kind that causes a tower and makes you upset. Yeah. Makes you upset for sure. Tell me what the tower's about, please. An emotional argument or emotional outburst that causes a tower here. We've got an overwhelming emotion here. Someone's overwhelmed. They're not sure what to do. I don't really know if I want it. I'm not really sure if I want one person or if I want to keep my options open. So, Sag, I think the other person might want to keep their options open. You may have forced a conversation about feelings and this person was just straight with you. This Taurus was just straight up with you. I have other options. I don't know that I want to narrow down my options for one person. And it causes a tower for you. Tell me about this tower, please. Tower within a tower. Wow. Oof. Wow. There we go. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So I think what you wanted, Sag, is you wanted this person to be your everything, right? You wanted to go on this new path of passion. I feel like you two are already on a path of passion. I feel like you've already started on that path, but I feel like it's a page of wands. It's more about not really being um, uh, tied to anybody or anything. We're just going to, you know, meet in the middle and have passionate times, and then we're going to part again. And you've been doing this for a long time. I feel like this person sees that you're abundant, like you, you take care of your own stuff. You, you may be someone who owns a bunch of assets or someone who um, is possibly someone who could be in a long-term relationship. But I feel like when you talk about, when you force this, it feels like force because I'm looking at the tower twice. It feels like you force this person into a conversation that they don't want to have and it doesn't turn out the way you want it to. I feel like this person just wants to continue to come in and out for passionate times. They just want to be themselves they don't want to be in a relationship i don't think i've got the nine of cups this person thinks it's good just the way it is they feel like they found their wish fulfillment in you and um i feel like it's courage uh, strength card i feel like this person has um has the courage to look at you and say, look, I feel like everything is going great here. Nine of Cups, it's all working out the way I want to, but I don't think it's working out the way you want it to, Sag. I feel like this person, the Taurus, it could be, um, this person, or it could be someone who's a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or any of the fixed signs, right? Because we're dealing with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this person here um, kind of lets you know that they're happy with the way things are, and it's going to cause you to have to have some strength here. And I feel like you are, um, you're someone who is quite grounded. I feel like you are very passionate about this person and you're trying to have the courage to be in this relationship the way they want you to be in this relationship. But I don't think you're happy there because the, the King of Cups is in the reverse. Tell me about the King of Cups, please. We've got the Sun. 
So I feel like um, you did have the conversation. Yeah, the conversation that was rolling around in your head. You presented to this person. It ended up in a sort of not going away the emotional way you wanted it to. And it's left you nothing but really being up in your head. This person really didn't give you any any solid answers. They just caused tower after tower. Uh, the first tower is the, you know, having the emotional outburst. The second tower is, I don't think I want to give up my options. Yeah. And I feel like you see this person as someone that you're very passionate about, that you that you see as your wish fulfillment, but this person is more about their money than they are about you. They're more about their pentacles. They're passionate about you for sure. And I feel like they do like the passionate times that they spend with you, but I feel like this person is more about being happy in this moment, not really looking into the future. I don't really want to talk about marriage. Tell me about this, this uh, Hierophant here, please. I don't really want to talk about marriage. I've been divorced. I don't want to get into that again. So you, some of you might be dealing with a divorcee, whether they're feminine or masculine. Tell me what this Wheel of Fortune is here. Wheel of Fortune is the pentacle. It's like, why don't we move in together instead? You know, do we have to get married? Do we have to put a label on it? Let's just move forward here. I feel like you think about it for a while. We've got the, um, the hanged man. I feel like a cycle comes to an end. And then we end up with the ten of of cups also another cycle coming to an end and then we end up with this five of swords arguments again about whether or not you're my soulmate i feel like somebody here is trying to push another person into a situation they don't want to be in i feel like you have these happy times together um and somebody wants to get married and the other person doesn't and it's causing tower after tower it causes you to continue to get hurt over and over again because this person has told you they want to keep their options open and um I feel like this person is eventually going to come to a point where they are emotionally available, rid of their outbursts, and not like worrying about all of this all of the time. I feel like it's going to work out um, the way it's supposed to, but I feel like your person is on a different path than you, and you want one thing. You're looking forward into stability and marriage and all of that, and the other person just is not. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. Look at Amira's cards here. What's Amira got to tell us? Could be dealing with someone who is the courting man. Yeah, the courting man could be someone who wants to keep their options open. And then we have the dating queen. So this courting man wants you, wants the dating queen, right? Wants to take you out, have fun, do whatever it is that you do to have fun. They see you're abundant. They don't want part of your abundance. They just want to court you. Yeah, this person is probably someone who owns a business, a professional male. And this person's way more focused on their career than they are on you. They're not focused on getting married or being with someone who is um, going to put a label on it, right? Lovers, soulmate. They don't like those labels. They just want to be able to do the things that they want to do with you. They're very attracted to you and they want to remain in an open relationship. They want to keep all of their options and they want they don't want you to scrutinize how often they're working. This person is a hard worker. I feel like we've got the king of pentacles here, someone who is very much about stacking their pentacles. We also have the Hierophant. Um, I feel like, yeah, this person is more into working than they are into relationship, but they want an open relationship with you. And I think you need to decide whether you're going to cut them out or speak up, figure out what it is you're going to do. And then, yeah, move on to maybe someone else. True love, past love, long distance. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much, Saji, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. And if you're interested in a private read, please know there's 10% off till the 20th of September. Please look into the description if you would like to book a reading. I'm going to go for now. I love you guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.